Hey everyone, let's have some tips on jaw relation. Even before starting with the vertical and the centric relations during JR, one needs to calibrate and optimize the occlusion rims. Start with the maxillary rim first. My checklist is first the buccal corridor and the visibility of the maxillary rim. And most importantly, its relation with the facial reference lines, namely the interpupillary line and moving on posteriorly to the ala tragus line. I use an occlusal plane analyzer for that purpose. It really helps me have the level of the rim coincide with the ala tragus in absolute parallelism. Moving on to the lower rim, uniform softening is a key to achieve a balanced contact with the upper rim all throughout. Ask the patient to close in a position almost near to his centric relation. Don't let him overclose. On the model posteriorly, it should coincide with two thirds up the retromolar pad. Whereas in the patient's mouth, one can verify the position of the rims in the canine premolar region as it should nearly coincide the level of the commissures of the mouth. Well, hope this was helpful. Keep following me for more educational content.